wrap my head around it. Britt Westbourne, of all people, she, she literally stole my embryo, and now she's the chief of staff? It's obvious she's taken her orders from Cyrus Renault. And if appointing Britt is any indication as to how he plans on running the hospital, things are gonna get bad real fast. Franco, have you seen my mom? She said she was working today. Uh, she is, but her shift has not yet started. Something I can help you with? It's just that I need to reserve my tux for homecoming, and my debit card doesn't have enough to cover it, so I was kind of hoping that I could get some more money. <laughs> sure, no problem. We got that covered. Really? Yeah. Who's your date? Well, someone has a skip in her step. Do I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, thanks so much for meeting me on such short notice. I know how busy you are. Well, I'm not actually that busy. Um, Jax and I were in New York this morning, but, you know, with Jocelyn's grandfather passing away. Oh, I know. That's so sad. Yeah. I guess we can just hope that, that he's at peace now, right? Yeah. So, about you, your texts seem awfully urgent. What's the big news? Mm. My plan with Nicholas mm -hmm. has hit a... Uh, an unexpected complication. Uh-oh, what went wrong now? Well, that's the thing. It turns out that my cold-blooded reptile of a husband might actually be human after all. Trina and I decided that we'd be better off as friends. Oh, I'm mature. Yeah, I know, right? Set. I like her. You know, um, I, I, I like the times that we spend together. Just the two of us. I think that we should try dating a little, you know, for real. You gotta tell her how you feel. Make it sound like it's easy. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's like, it's torturously difficult. It's the hardest thing in the world to tell somebody how you feel. It is, but you and Trina, you're not just friends. You went through this horrible ordeal together. You came out the other side of it, survivors. You have a special bond with her. But, you know, what if she, she doesn't feel the same way anymore? What if I miss my chance? Well, then you missed your chance, and life goes on, and your friendship will go on, too. <sighs> Trina seems to me is kind of a straight shooter, right? And she cares about you, so you should just ask her how she feels about the time that you two spent together. It'll be okay. Well, uh, there's a catch. Jocelyn. If it's any consolation, I got Peter's approval for something that may change the public's perception of Mr. Cyrus Renault. Oh, the sooner the better. And in the meantime, you know, I know that my mother would be happy to help you out financially while your hours are cut back. I know she would, and I really appreciate it. But for now, Franco and I are managing. Hey, Trina. Oh, hi, Mrs. Baldwin, Miss Spencer. Hey, Trina, it's good to see you. Cameron told me the fearsome foursome's going to homecoming. <gasps> are you excited about the dance? No, oh, definitely. It's just a lot to plan for. In fact, I'm gonna go grab a drink and get started. Okay. <laughs> What? They just hit me. They're all seniors. Oh, my God, I know, oh. I know. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday I was bringing Cameron home from the hospital, and now we're talking colleges. Oh, my gosh, it's crazy how fast time flies. Like, I remember being the annoying little sisters, watching you and Emily, Lucky, and Nicholas running all around poor Charles. Yeah. A lot's changed since then. Well, I took Avery up to Sunny's cabin for a couple of days while they dealt with Mike. And who should interrupt my getaway with my daughter? But Nicholas. What was he doing there? Well, he was trying to catch me in an affair, of course. <laughs> you should have seen him. It was ridiculous. He was running around demanding to know which window Franco was climbing out of to escape. It was truly <laughs> absurd. And tell me, what was the human part? Well... When Nicholas realized that the only other person in the cabin besides me was Avery, he... This... The dad in him came out. And we helped Avery catch fireflies. Aww. I know. And when she wandered off in the dark, he helped me look for her and he helped me find her. Is Avery okay? Yes. Yeah, Avery's she's perfect. It's her mother, though, that's hopelessly confused. One minute. Nicholas and I were having what can only be described as hate sex. And then the next, he's being kind and, and understanding for no apparent reason. Wait, back up. You and Nicholas had sex? 